Howdy mates, good afternoon. Here's a part two video for Sunday, March 12th, 2023. I'm actually over visiting a place called the Sawgrass Lake Park, which is situated basically up in St. Petersburg. I figured since I'm gradually making my way back south towards Inglewood, I figured I'd check out a couple of spots on the way in which I haven't been. I'm one of those kind of people. Like, yeah, sure, I could go home, but I'm just gonna slowly make my way back. I mean, it's my day off work, so I figured, it, figured I would use it to its full potential. So anyway, to show you guys two different things while I was, uh, meandering about so directly to my left we've got this guy right here see this see all the uh, flower arrangements you know where each individual flower looks like a star here we go however though the actual arrangement of the flower is known as rashim so it kind of looks you know, a little bit like a brush. Now, this particular plant that I'm pointing out to you guys is something called Virginia Willow. Now, this, despite its common name, it's not a true willow. Because a true willow, you know, in terms of the scientific name, has the genus of Salix. But unlike this particular plant right here, the Virginia willow, even though it's not a true willow, it is actually, by its scientific name, known as, it, I can't even pronounce it, Itea virginica. So thus, it is not a true willow. However, though, it grows in a very similar setting as our true willows. Because we'll, you, you know, you'll commonly find them in floodplain swamps, uh, oak hammocks, which is what we're in right now, and even marshes, too. So, essentially, they both require ample amounts of water. So you can tell, like, right now, it's at its point where it is ready for pollination, is blooming so this is an indication that even spring happens in Florida too okay so another thing that I wanted to show you guys let's see if we can actually hold on <laughs> bear with me all right you see all those fellow homies right there let me point it out to you guys like right those two so you got that one and then this one well, these are known as Orgia detrita, or detrita, pardon me. Now, that's a scientific name, but they, a common name that it goes by is the live oak tussock moth. Now, when I say tussock, I'm not talking about, you know, two individual socks. Rather, the way it's spelled is T U S S. O C K, two sock. Oh, here we go. Here's a better example. You can actually see it directly. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> now, these guys in particular, there's something that you don't want to get in direct contact with. Because as you can if you look carefully enough, let's see if I can zoom in a little more. Yeah, here you go. See all those prickly hairs that are protruding from its body? Well, the thing is, those actually have particular toxins in them. And what happens is, if it comes into contact with your skin, it can actually cause prunitic dermatitis, which is, prunitic is just another way of saying itching. And so, 
essentially it can cause different rashes and just excessive irritation here we go we got another example right here maybe there we go yeah just look at these guys so they like have their tail in the back they have a red head and then they have those they look like antlers <laughs> now fortunately their population is actually quite sustained they're one of the most common species of moths found in Florida anyway it's the time of the year where they will soon be going under a process known as metamorphosis so moths even go through the same transformation as even butterflies as well but once they reach into their adult stage as a moth they're kind of they're, they're like a kind of like a dark brown and that's essentially its way of blending in to the bark that belongs to life oak essentially it's a great example of cryptic coloration in layman's terms that just means camouflage so quite neat to see them I'm really abundant right now but the thing is though some people might have them excessively and in some cases they could actually be regarded as a pest so I'll actually be sure to share a little article for you guys that goes a little more over that I mean just with the fact that there's a lot that goes to it and you figure I'm already quite a few minutes into the video right now so alrighty take care you guys hope you've had a splendid weekend so far and once again of course learning on a journey is onwards take care folks See ya.